would you say if God were to say, why should I let you into my heaven? The only answer is by the mercy and by the grace and by the blood of Jesus Christ. by being good. You will not get into God's heaven by who you associate with. And you surely cannot get into God's heaven by being good. When the Bible says there is none that doeth good. No, not one. You will be found lacking. You will be found to be short. When you have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. The fool has said in his heart that there is no God. And the fools end up in hell. There is no wisdom in denying God. There is no life without the life of Jesus Christ. The door to heaven is the door of Jesus Christ. There is no other way to get to God. There is no other way to get to heaven except by the one that said, I am the way the truth, and the light. And no man cometh unto the Father except by me, and those words were said by Jesus Christ. And if you deny Jesus Christ, he will deny you. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, I never knew you. Are the words of Jesus. And those words will be the words of like God saying to you, Go to hell. And when God tells you to go to hell, you'll be damned forever. Because you have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. You have not put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is the only access to get out of hell. You will find no believers of Jesus in hell. You will find religion in hell. You will find atheists in hell. But you will not find a soul that has put his faith in Jesus Christ in hell. Life and salvation is through Jesus Christ. And only through Jesus Christ. Right. To be saved. 
of Jesus Christ. There is no other hope than the blessed hope of Jesus Christ. And if you take your last breath without faith and belief in Jesus, you will die and you will wake up in hell and you'll never ever be able to get out. There is no purgatory. There is no party in hell. It is a place of torment. And you will go there because you have chosen to reject Jesus Christ. People who have believed on Jesus do not go to hell. And hell is a real place. And you will really go to hell by continuing to reject Jesus. No Jesus, no heaven. And hell is not a place of partying. In hell you will have no alcohol because you can't even get water. You can't get relief. You'll get no satisfaction by rejecting Jesus Christ. You'll get no life without Jesus. For he that has the Son hath everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not cease life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. And the wrath of God is hell. And the wrath of God is by rejecting Jesus Christ. The rejection of Jesus Christ will get you into hell. A hell that you don't believe in. And a hell that you won't believe once you enter. And all you have to do is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone. And thou shalt be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That's what will get you out of hell and get you into heaven. Believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. Satisfaction of God is the satisfaction of the finished work of Jesus and nothing else. For by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourselves, least any man boast. There is a hell and there is a heaven and you get to heaven through Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. And you get into hell by rejecting Jesus Christ. I advise you not to reject Jesus. Because imagine God telling you, God saying to you, go to hell. And then when God tells you to go to hell, you will go to hell. And you will not come out of hell. And hell will be a real place. And you will find out that hell is a place of torment. And no, and no mercy. Because you rejected Jesus, the merciful one. There is no door in hell because you rejected Jesus Christ, the door.
There is no water in hell, for Jesus said, I am the water of life. Come out of hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. You can't see your friends in hell. Hell is a place of darkness. If you want light, come to Jesus Christ. He is the light. The eternal light in New Jerusalem, there will be no need of the sun of the moon. For God shall be the light of the city of New Jerusalem. And without Jesus Christ, there is no light in the hell that you're going to, of a place of torment. And imagine God telling you, sir, to go to hell. And you spend eternity in hell, in torment, when God will get the last laugh. Because you have chosen to reject Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father except through Jesus Christ. Salvation, coming out of hell, to get out of hell, is belief on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Come to Jesus and be saved. Walk away from Jesus and be damned and be damned forever without mercy, without grace, forever to be suffering when you need not to suffer, but put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If you want to get to heaven, you get to heaven through Jesus Christ. You don't get to heaven any other way. You're not good enough. When the Bible says there's none that doeth good. No, not one. For there is none righteous. No, not one. You need God's righteousness. And God's righteousness is the righteousness of Jesus Christ alone. And without Jesus, you will burn in hell. And you will burn for all eternity because you have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. You have not come to God to get to God's heaven. And to get to God, you must come to Jesus. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. There is no other way. There is no other hope but the blessed hope of Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ is able to save your soul. Trust and believe on Him today. as God will be satisfied for you have put your trust in Jesus Jesus there is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved and your salvation rests upon the Jesus Christ that is God that is the way that is the door that is the water of life that is the light that is God's way of getting to a place called heaven. And there is no other, there is nothing other but Jesus Christ, God manifested in the flesh, suffered and died on Calvary according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is what satisfies God. The finished work of Jesus alone. You 
cannot save yourself. You cannot do it yourself. It has been done. It has been finished by Jesus Christ. Jesus on the cross said, it is finished. You cannot add anything to God's salvation. If you try to, it's an artificial preservative that God will not accept. We don't like artificial preservatives and neither does God. The natural preservative is Jesus Christ. And you can't find that in religion. You can't find that doing. You can't find that searching out in the woods. You must come to God by faith, believing that God is who He is, and that Jesus is your only means of salvation. Come and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. For only by Jesus Christ will you have access into heaven. Call upon the name that saved. The name of Jesus Christ. There is no other way. There is no other name. Mary can't save you. Only Jesus can. A church can't save you. A baptism can't save you. A doing can't save you. Only Jesus saves. And that's it. Only through Jesus Christ can you be saved. Anything else is hell. Anyone else is hell. But Jesus saves. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Call upon the name of God, and the name of God is Jesus Christ. The hope of God is the blessed hope of God, Jesus Christ. That is the name that will save your soul. That's the name that will get you out of heaven. And you can get out of heaven by faith and belief in Jesus Christ. Any sinner can come knocking on the door of Jesus and say, Jesus, you're the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Lord Jesus, take away my sin and wash my sins in your blood. For the sake and mercy of God the Father that I can be saved, that I can get to heaven by Jesus Christ alone. There is no other way, there is no other salvation except the salvation of Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Anything else and you're going to hell with it. Anyone else will join you in hell. Allah will get you into hell. Mary will get you into hell. There is no hope in the Pope. Only Jesus saves. Atheism. The Bible says about atheism, the fool has said in his heart that there is no God. You are a fool to say that there's no God. And fools end up in hell. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is that of God and Jesus Christ. Come to know God. And you can only know God through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ only is able to save your soul. And without Jesus Christ, without the faith of Jesus Christ, without repenting to Jesus, you will 
wake up when you die and hell will be your home forever. You make your place in hell because you have chosen to reject Jesus Christ. No Jesus, no heaven. And without Jesus Christ, God will tell you to go to hell. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. And if God doesn't know who you are, the only way to get God to know who you are is through Jesus Christ. And if God doesn't know who you are, you don't go to heaven. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Believe anything, believe anyone else, and you can go to hell. You don't want to go to hell. It's a place of torment. It's a place of no mercy, no grace, no relief, and no love. A place of darkness, a place of torment, because you have chosen to reject Jesus Christ. And when you reject Jesus Christ, God will reject you. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is the blessed hope. Jesus Christ is the way. Jesus Christ is the truth. And Jesus Christ is the life. There is no way, there is no truth, and there is no life without Jesus. It's eternal torment in the lake of fire that burns forever because you have chosen to reject Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's to God's glory, the Lord Jesus Christ. Donald Trump can't save your soul. Only Jesus Christ can save your soul. Put your faith and trust in Jesus. God, manifested in the flesh. God, who is life. God, who is not willing that any should perish if you are to trust in Jesus and be saved. And you can be saved today. You're not sure if you have a tomorrow. Tomorrow may never come. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's what the Bible says. Acts 16.31 It didn't say go to church. It didn't say get baptized. It didn't say run around in circles. It didn't say do the mass. It says believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Man wants you to go to church. Man wants you to be baptized. Man wants you to do the mass. Jesus wants you to believe on him for eternal life. Because in Jesus is life. And in Jesus is your only means of salvation. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and shall proclaim that Jesus is Lord. Do it before you die. Because if you have to proclaim Jesus is Lord after you die, Jesus is going to cast you into the lake of fire after you proclaim he is Lord. Proclaim him as Lord today. Proclaim him as the Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world. Proclaim him as your Lord and God and Savior today to be saved and not go to hell. Believe 
believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The satisfaction of God is Jesus Christ. The blessed eternal heaven is obtained through Jesus Christ. Only by Jesus Christ. And yes, bikers can be saved. God's not willing that any should perish. You're not too vile enough that God can't save you. The Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. If you come to God as a sinner, and you come to the Lamb of God and repent of your sins, you can be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Without Jesus Christ, your eternal life is a living hell. An eternal living hell. And you don't have to go. You do not have to die and go to hell. You can stop your entrance into hell by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Bring you and your sins to the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Come and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved.